There are few things that will cure your morning hunger better than a full English breakfast. Wait. Ladies and gentlemen, there are few things that will cure your morning hunger better than a full English breakfast. Young Max and I were reminiscing the other day about our most recent trip to London, where we ate all sorts of things, including the fabulous full English breakfast, aka the full Monty, at Hawksmoor on the High Street. Okay, right, now, I, now East London. Uh, East London. Uh, oi, mate, I got a fucking full English breakfast right here to stuff up your bleeding nose, you wanker. How's that good? Perfect. Yes, thank you. Well, it is true. We've been bemoaning the fact that we can't really travel anywhere, remembering the places we've been. Then we started talking about our trip to London, all the great things that we were remembering, uh, the full English breakfast that we did at Hawksmoor, a steak place that was, as many people uh, let us know in the comments, Oi, mate, that was nothing like a proper English fry-up. It's a bit too posh, if you know what I mean. And it, it, it was a bit posh. They made the, this potato thing called bubble and squeak with short rib and they had bone marrow on the side and they had a giant bacon chop and oh, just go watch it. Just go watch it, it's great. Now do the posh responding to the East London. Listen lads, when you have a full English breakfast, there's nothing wrong with a little special this or that and on now the side Scotsman of it. Enters. Scotsman. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. And right bastard, hold on, Scottish. No, that was Irish, hold on. Scottish, Mr. Wynn was Irish. Oh, fucking dick. I have to get this, Nikki. Ken had us do the yeah, squat. Yeah. yeah, that's it, yeah. You kind of have a proper English breakfast in Scotland. We don't even like the, the English. You come up here, the Scots are the only ones that know the way to a uh, man's true stomach. And that is with a sheep stomach filled with haggis. There's meat and grain and oats and barley. That's the way to start off a cold Scottish day when you're out in the, the moors. <laughs> the moors? <laughs> Remember that movie, American Werewolf in London? Stay away from the moors, lads. And they didn't stay away from the moors and bad shit happened. All right, here's the rundown. You ready? You ready? ready? Yes. Bangers, big English sausages. Uh, mushrooms, the English bacon, fried tomatoes. They're very good. We don't really do that here. They do it there. A bubble and squeak, the mashed potatoes with some veggies. Proper, proper English uh, beans. And their beans are these beans. And these are not like our baked beans. Eggs, but fried bread, fried bread, not toast, fried bread. Oh, black pudding. You know what black pudding is? Some of you do. The rest of you are gonna find out. Max, do you like black pudding? My favorite. He's lying through his teeth. I always eat black pudding. So, listen, let's get this full English breakfast started from this Jewish Canadian boy in the old US of A. We begin with a little oil, as they would say in uh, London, a little oil, I guess. And our bangers, pork sausages. We don't wanna cook these super hot. Why chance? Because if we cook them super hot, uh, they're not gonna cook through before the outsides get all blackened up. And that is not what we want. So look, there is a lot of components to this thing. All right, so the, the bangers are there. They're gonna start to do their thing. They take uh, 10 minutes or so to get there. Over here, I'm putting a little blob of uh, pork fat. And the little blob of pork fat is gonna be for our fried tomatoes. Let's give them just a little salt and pepper. Now these kids are gonna go face down, right there. We're gonna keep our eyes on them. We want them to get some real pretty color and a little crisp around the outside, but not to the point where they explode and just become a little pile of red, turdy mush. So these guys- Thank you for that description. My pleasure. So these guys, no, no color yet. Oh God, why? Why does this happen to me? Because you're not really a chef, Sam. You think you are. Well, stop being an asshole to me. I can't help what I'm not. I'm not saying I'm a chef. You just play one on TV. You just play one on TV, that's how they look. See how these look after a very little bit of time. No, nah, not yet. Okay, and then anything we can take off and then rewarm up at the end and we'll all be fine. Now this other pan, this one beside us, this guy's gonna get a couple things too. Next up is gonna be our bacon and this is what it looks like. Look, very different from our bacon. This is pork loin. This is back bacon, right? That part, just a traditional eggs Benedict uses back bacon. So this is back bacon from the pork loin. This here is the part of the belly. This is where our North American bacon would come from with the Brits 
would call streaky bacon. So we'll get these guys going in this pan right here. Wow, I really put this in badly. That's three pieces. I was trying to put four. God, I can do this. And then one more like this. There we go. All right, we're cooking the bacon. See if there's anything happening with these sausages. Oh uh, yeah, a wee bit there, lads. A wee bit, a wee bit, a wee bit. Let's check these tomatoes. There is just a torrent of heat coming from this one spot here that I'm finding very difficult to deal with. No, those are getting there, but I want more color. And you can see they're starting to pee out some of their juices, and that's fine. That's fine, that's fine, that's fine. So the bacon's happening. What do you boys notice is not here in the bacon? Oil? Yeah, a bunch of a grease. A lot of grease. It's because it's very different. There's so much less fat on this. But we still want a little more, more color. That's starting to be good. That's all right. We'll push these guys up here, let them get a little crispier. And in this section down here, we put a little bit more of that pork fat, give it a little business, and then some mushrooms, like that. Little tiny bit of oil on top so everybody gets coated and nice. Now these guys are just gonna cook right along with the bacon. They'll probably be in there longer than the bacon and that's fine. When everybody gets a little bit of oil on them and a little bit of that pork fat, great. These are gonna be beautiful. Some I've cut in half. This guy could be cut, thank you. That's all, not thinly sliced. This is not a thinly sliced mushroom proposition for me. This is sort of decent sized guys like this. All right, let's check out our sausages, our bangers while we're here. Oh, and look, right, this is what we want, that gorgeousness. Oh, coming along beautifully, fellas. Our tomatoes look like they could be turned. Let's check, ah, it's so hot. All right, I'll take them, a little bit of color, love it. All right, they're only gonna get another minute or so on that side and then they're coming out. Meanwhile, this is fine. I'm gonna see the bacon now. Maybe it needs a turn. Yep, let's get these guys going here. That's good, this is good, this is all good. This is what I'm wanting. Might get these guys back on the other side, but we're doing fine. So, at this point, I'm gonna take the tomatoes off and put them in my little plate here, getting them ready, like this. Like this, that guy got a little squishy. He might not make the plate, and these guys. Okay, beautiful. All right, we're getting ready for a bubble and squeak. We'll begin with a bit of butter, or as they might say, a knob of butter, and some diced yellow onion. So the beautiful thing about uh, bubble and squeak is it's often made from leftovers. And here's what I have. I have some uh, vegetables, roasted, carrots, multicolor, and some Brussels sprouts, and mashed potatoes, and all of this will be going in here to become amazing. But first, we just gotta get this happening, these onions softening before we get anything else in. And we'll make it like this, all very nice. Okay, so the carrots and the Brussels sprouts that you saw, I've just rough chopped. And I'm gonna throw them in and give them a little love right now. Let them start to heat through a bit, just for a minute or so. Gorgeous. And when that's happened, in we will come with our mashed potatoes, our C-O-L-D, well, you guys can spell, our cold mashed potatoes. My uh, last cookbook was about repurposing leftovers, and this is about as good a way as I've ever seen to get rid of your leftover veg and potatoes from the night before. But we're looking for some crisp on this, so we'll mix this in, and then we wanna just kinda leave it on the heat to start to get some color, and we'll come back to that. In the meantime, let's check our sausages and our bacon. So the sausages, getting some beautiful color on both sides. Let's try and stand them up now if we can. Maybe along the edge to get like even color there. And then we have a treat coming into the center of those, and that will be the black pudding. Here's what it looks like. Boom. All right, it's made with pig's blood, which could be shocking. There's also some oats in there, little bits of fat. It's all good. We'll cut these guys into fairly decent little coins. Here's what you need to know. It's already cooked. So all we're doing is crisping it up and getting it hot. And here's what you wanna do. You wanna take a little knife. You wanna get this part off, like this. And there you go, blood pudding. A little pair of scissors would work wonders for that, but that's okay. So just pull them all out, and then we're gonna go throw them in the pan with the sausage. Little dip of oil, and then in they go. Remember, fully cooked. We're going for texture, a little crispness around the edge. It's all good. Well, we're here, let's get rid of the bacon because it's ready. It can come off. Oh, why do you see the whole nonsense go together? Let's 
gonna be great. Nail the mushrooms too. Look at, see the color that they now have? That's where we're headed, folks. Well, that's where we want it to be. So these guys all come out. Our sausages for me have one more turn to make. Look at that. Oh, did you see that? Did you hear that and see it? You know what it just did? Pop. You know what they call that? The casing broke. Bang. Er. That's oh. why they bang when they do that. Now I get it. Sometimes it happens. There's a school of thought that says poke holes in them. I don't like to do that. I like to keep the fat inside. If they blow, they blow. If they don't, you got extra juicy. So just leave it the way it is. Let's check our bubble and squeak and see that. See this? This. This browning. That's what you want. You want this. We're doing fine here, lads. Doing fine. Again, more color. Can I try and turn it into like a cake? Like a little, uh, little you know, what do you call it? Like a, like a potato cake. Just let it do its thing. Oh God, I wasn't supposed to say that. <laughs> okay. No, you know what I've noticed? You're now just, you've replaced that with other versions of it. Let that sit there. Well, why is that bad? That, I, I need to say these fucking things. You don't. I do. All right, here's what we're doing. We're taking our sausages out because they're looking amazing to me. I love them. And the smell is great. Big British bangers. That's what you want. Now, this guy, this guy, the blood sausage gets turned. Oh, look at that color. Can you see the difference in the light there? Because from my side, it's amazing. Great, 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 great. All right, put these here. See this fat that's down here? This fat from the sausages? We're gonna take advantage of that. We're gonna put a couple of pieces of bread in here to fry it. This is gonna now get color on both sides. The bubble and squeak is doing its thing beautifully. Gorgeous, there you go. While we're here, nobody move, let me take a can of Heinz beans. Give it a little shake and open it up. This is about as traditional as it gets. Don't splatter. And these will go in my little pan here. Torm up. And you can see they're way more red than the traditional beans that we get that come out of a can. Ours are much more uh, mahogany in color, am I right? Much more. And these say in tomato sauce, and that's what it is. So while the bread is getting there, Let's take out our black pudding. Amazing. It's amazing, it's amazing, it's amazing. The mushrooms, the bacon, the black pudding, the bread being fried in this wee pan. Sorry, wrong accent. The bread being fried in the, I know I can't do any accent. The beans are doing nicely. The bubble and squeak needs more, what's the word? A crisp on it and we're gonna get it there. I'd like to flip it. God, I really don't wanna F this up. There we go. Okay, see that? This, this is what everything was going towards. That texture on the outside keeps the potatoes soft and creamy and perfect inside with the vegetables. All right, time for a couple eggs and we're there lads. And it's egg time. You know what that means? That means first it's butter time. Well, since this is pork based, should we just add a little bit of the pork fat? I mean, I think the Brits would want me to do that. It just makes sense. Doesn't it? It's almost the right thing to do, All right? Two eggs. You know? Dos. Or one and two. Where's my little thing? Fuck. All right, let's try and keep these in a nice shape. There we go. A little salt and pepper, lads. Always, always. Okay, eggs are doing their thing. Bread now turns over. Great, turns over. Oh, the grease, the sausage, the oil, everything that was in there. Fried bread. Fried bread. Oh, wrong accent. And we're way to the races. The racist? The races. In the center will go our Heinz beans in tomato sauce. Love them. And again, absolutely nothing like beans in a can in this country. Nothing. And by the way, I believe it's the official bean of a proper English breakfast. Okay, next up, let's go with some mushrooms here. Look, there's no right or wrong. There's only what feels good. Gorgeous. Max, now let's go bacon here, shall we? Fantastico. This little guy. There. Now. Don't say fantastico. Say it how the Brits would say it. Fantastic, mate. It's bleeding marvelous. Remember this kid? Look. The texture. Oh, it's so hot and amazing and fantastic. Let's do a nice piece back here. Oh, you can see the veg on the inside. Nice. Couple other things. You ready for what those things are? How about just the most beautiful sausages ever? 
gorgeous color, really pretty, really pretty. The grease that's there, it's gonna be everything. And don't forget our tomatoes. We'll bring these guys right up here, right up in there. This guy here. Now, two things left. If I shift this a little bit, move this guy over here. Now, how about some block pudding? Last but not least. Oh, oh, pretty fucking hot. I've got this bread that I think I'll just cut. Oh, the eggs. I completely forgot about the eggs. Watch this. I don't know, there's too much. Excuse me while I absolutely redo everything. And now the eggs. Now, 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 now the eggs. I'm gonna come one right here and one right here. Holy good Lord, man. That's fucking beautiful. All right, that wrong accent, sorry. Um, ladies and gentlemen, please turn your attention to the full English breakfast. Let's just go through what we've got. You got your uh, back bacon, it's lovely. You got your black pudding, AKA blood sausage. We're eating the hell out of that. Couple eggs, the egg style is optional. I do think you need this because you want to go like boom like that with the fried bread. You got your fried tomatoes, beautiful. You got your bangers right here, glistening and perfect. Bubble and squeak, hello bubble and squeak with some carrots and Brussels sprouts. It's little fried mushrooms that are gonna be tremendous. And at the center of our friend, the Heinz beans. So let's start with a bite of this and then we'll work our way around. Mm, I love them, very tomatoey. I love them. But the rest, come on now. A little bit of the, the bacon. Mm. You know, it's just not fatty like the regular. Bubble and squeak right here, right here, right here. Look at the crispiness, the color. The outside is, and the inside. Crispy, soft. Mm. All I gave it was a little salt and pepper. I don't even think you saw that. This is not the place to start going with the thyme and, and, and crazy things like that. Blood sausage, one of the best things ever. You would never know, Max had it. Max? It was awesome. Chance? It was bomb. Mm. So good, all right, but. Fried bread in the egg, like that. Oh, all jammy, gorgeous and everything. Like, could it be toast? Yeah. Should it be toast? No. This is so benefited from the sausage grease in the pan. Wait, one of the bangers. You know, when you cook them slow, they cook through beautifully but they get that snappy crisp on the outside and they're super soft in the inside. But wait, I'm forgetting something. HP sauce. It's like the, the British steak sauce. They call it brown sauce. But it is so good. And here's where it needs to go. A little bit right there and the sausage. Like that. That's what this is all about. It's way tangier than any of ours. It's really good. All right, look, was this a reasonable amount of work? Yes. Did I have to go to a, a, an English food shop to get the blood sausage and uh, the bacon and the HP sauce? Yes. Should you do it? 100% yes. There will be those of you that look at this and go, I'm not gonna make that, and that's fine. Then there will be those of you that look at it and go, I'm gonna try that. And I suggest you do it, get some friends, make the effort, it's worth it. It's so fun. What do we say? Don't eat the same thing all the time. You might make an amazing brunch, but are you making this brunch? Once a year, twice a year? Group effort, have a bunch of fun, best thing ever. I got nothing more. Look, I wish I could be eating this in London in a restaurant. I can't, next best thing. Mm. It's all so damn good. And if you like this, uh, go check out our full American breakfast that I have no recollection of shooting. And our top 10 London video. And our top 10 London video. <laughs> Thank you, Max. The original. The original, except there's one section with a little sketchy audio. It's in a place called the Borough Market. You'll know it when you hear it. Chance is fault. It's all me. All chance. Damn it again. This was chance. like a wee high schooler then, I think. He knew nothing then. All he had were those gorgeous eyes of his. <laughs>